Well, variety is the spice of life, so let's see what properties are up for auction today. We're out west. West Drayton, that is. About as far west in London as a man can get. And the property that's up for auction couldn't be much closer. Let's time it. Come on! OK, class, time for today's property investment lesson. I'm going to teach you about something called the property ripple. First of all, what you've got to do is find yourself a place where property prices have gone through the roof in recent times. In this case, Liverpool. Then, instead of buying in the centre of that area, you buy on the outskirts of that area, within a reasonable distance. Imagine throwing a stone into a pond and the ripple that it would create buying the outlying regions with a view to the fact that people won't be able to afford to buy in the centre of the ripple, they'll buy on the outskirts and as a result property prices will rise accordingly. So here I am in Liverland where you can still get a three bedroomed terrace property for 40,000 quid. No, I mean really, really disgusting. I mean... <laughs> Who could leave it with, I mean, that is possibly the worst cooker I've seen in the entire time I've been doing the show. Well, normally having a property by the side of a busy main road wouldn't be a good thing, unless it's a commercial property you're looking for, in which case passing trade is a great thing to have. Well, that's exactly what's coming up for auction. It's the old filling station with a flat above it just outside Warrington. It's got a guide price of 275,000 to 300,000 pounds. And the best thing about it for me so far, it's got remote control gates. I love that. <laughs> well, you know us boys and our toys. They've obviously tried to put some kind of like a covering over the top of the floorboards to try and level it. But you're not fooling me. This place is, is a disaster. And I personally don't think you should touch this with a barge bowl. <laughs> However, the price of the property is fairly attractive. It's two bedrooms, guide price, 100,000 quid, which for around here, these parts, it's quite cheap. So, what have we got? It looks to me, judging by these bits of concrete here, that those have been filled. The problem is, if that hasn't been done correctly, and the petrol has seeped out into the ground, that is a contamination problem. The only way to check that is by having a full environmental survey done, which means drilling holes into the land and checking for contamination. Because if there is contamination here, that's bad news. The only answer, really, make sure you get a survey done before you buy the place. Please state your name and specialist subject. Martin Roberts, commercial property. What is the general rule of thumb regarding purchasing commercial property? Um, really, you've got to look at the, the floor space rather than the uh, interior quality or anything like that because it's the space that's important. Correct. Oh dear. What is that? That is a porch which, to my mind, has never had planning permission. Look how far it sticks out in front of the buildings. But then let's come on to the issues of the cracks. Cracks, yeah, lots of and them. And the floor, and the doors, and the windows. It's, 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 it's almost sort of a slant, this house, <laughs> as you can <laughs> see. I think it's because this road is like a, a slight hill, and um, because of that... That's not an excuse to have a road <laughs> on a hill! <laughs> No, the house I, shouldn't be on a hill, I know, slope, I know, whatever. I know, but yeah, the cracks are a bit worrying, um, so I think the first thing to do is basically to get a structural engineer in here to have a look at them. And then, well, you do that before you pay it though. I know, but I just didn't have enough time this time around. Quite funny, really, because I went and seen a nudie woogie man. A what? A, a guy who, you know, he's... He's looks into the future. Yeah. Spiritualist, the <laughs> An oogie woogie yeah. man. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly it's just, uh, you know, Wear and tear, it's a really old property. <laughs> wear and tear! I mean, it's a hundred years. I heard of elephants living here, it's smashing <laughs> into the walls. Well, it certainly yeah. is that. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's an interesting design, isn't it? I yes, mean, it is. It's a stag one is on its own, isn't it? Yes. It's like a little fairy yes. tale house in a way, isn't well, it? Yes, it is. And people over the road call it the teapot house. <laughs> <laughs> Are you the old lady who lives in the teapot? The teapot house, that's right, yeah. <laughs> The land itself must be worth quite a lot. The plot itself is a very valuable site, and um, it may well be that someone may consider even knocking it down. No, I <laughs> no, we, we, we'd, we'd chain ourselves to it. We wouldn't allow it to happen. I hope not. <laughs> so this is Tottenham. Tottenham. 
not Stanford Hill. The famous Tottenham. What difference does that actually make in real terms in prices? This property? Twenty-five, thirty thousand pounds. All in all, it hasn't been that no. successful a purchase, really, has it? Well, it's <sighs> yes and no. I don't think there is a tremendous loss on this property. You know, one of, I'll convince one of my son to come and live here. <laughs> About the fact that it's not where you thought it was going to be, yeah. and the fact that your son, who you bought it for, doesn't want it, mm -hmm. and the fact you paid too much for it, it was quite successful then. This flooring, can you imagine it, but it's stripped back. These would make incredible, extraordinary flats or apartments. I'll tell you what, I don't often say this, but for a guide price of £280,000, I'm thinking of going to the auction on this one.